Um, it's a replacement service. It caters for real elderly patients. Um, it has a small triage, mini accident emergency for um, problems that occur in the local community where people are patched up and then they're all over to transmission to an acute hospital if that's required. Um, we have x ray, we have uh, dietary, physiotherapy, social work, pharmacy on the site, and QT practices. Um, we also have a really good catering facility um, and some GP elective beds where general practitioners keep an eye on patients overnight without sending them to a hospital. I'm the energy manager for NHS Ayrshire and Arne. Um, I'm standing in the new facility, it's uh, in Girvan in southwest Scotland. Um, it's a brand new facility um, to replace some elderly facilities and also introduce some new services um, to the local community. Uh, within the hospital we have several renewable um, options, one of which is um, Northern Power 100 wind turbine and others are the 700 kilowatt biomass um, pellet boiler amongst other energy saving devices. Um, the wind turbine will account for 1% of our entire state's carbon um, reduction commitment. Um, also we are benefiting, benefiting from the feed-in tariff which um, will help propagate further energy saving initiatives throughout the estate. Initially we have been looking at um, a 300 kilowatt machine um, and realised that the hospital with its energy efficient credentials wouldn't be able to cope with the excess generation, we couldn't soak it up. We're not in the business, um, it's not a core business to export to the grid, we're using public funds. Um, so we then went down to uh, Vestas RBB220 and again we worked out that perhaps on you know, full generation in the middle of the night when the hospital wasn't using a lot of electricity we would have to export. We then looked at smaller machines and came across the um, Northern Power 100 and looked at that in conjunction with a few others and looked at the credentials of the Northern Power 100 in that it's been used in Alaska. Alaska is a very robust machine. It's got three blades. I think the nearest competitor was a two blade machine. Um, and really we took it from there and again engaging with Northern Power and RD Energy who were doing our exercise for us, it, it, it appeared that, that this one was the one for the job. What made Gerberon Community Hospital want to install a wind turbine? Um, it's a couple of reasons, uh, first of which was striving for the Building Research Establishment um, Excellent Award um, for a building which is as efficient as possible with having an energy performance rating of um, E. Also, we have a commitment really to try and reduce the amount of costs and carbon emissions and this is seen as an attractive prospect to potential external bodies buying into space in the hospital. Um, in that respect we brought Boots the Chemist on board, we've got the two GP practices and shortly we'll have social work. We also have the ambulance service. Part of the attractiveness was low energy costs. There have been no issues with the turbine. Um, with respect to the local population and, for example, the golf course, um, the prevailing wind is from the southwest, and most of the population centres are to the southwest. So, any propagated sound from the turbine will not travel towards the population centre, but will travel away towards the industrial centres. Picture is quite used to having a lot of um, wind energy um, systems all over the place. Um, the local community, certainly at planning stage, put up absolutely no objections to the, the machine being put up. And in fact, um, we've had two inquiries from local, fairly local communities um, looking at the, the process to put one up for themselves. These technologies are scalable um, in that 
you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There's loads of data, there's loads and loads of information available to allow you to do very inexpensive, quite accurate um, investigations as to whether a unit would be suitable in your area. Also, very, very early on in the process would be to approach your, your planning department and tell them what you want to do, where you want to put it, and you'll quite quickly get an idea of whether it's worth spending money getting someone to do a professional evaluation. The monitoring system helps us um, look at the current situation with the, the wind turbine, whether there's warnings, how well it's doing, the wind direction and the speed, um, together with how much energy we produced, how long the, the turbine has been running for. There are other areas we can go to which provide us with trends. Um, which allow us to analyse how the turbine is performing, whether it's stopped working for a particular reason for a, a period of time, and to answer questions um, if, if we're asked about why the turbine may not be turbine to turning while others are. The production from the turbine is used wholly on site um, through various methods, um, the first of which is obviously it deals with the, the, the power requirements when it's windy enough. Um, when it's not, we take energy off the grid, the national grid. Um, we've also put um, measures in whereby we can, at low energy consumption to the hospital, sink the, the consumption from the turbine through a large immersion heater and a big storage tank, water storage tank. There really have been no problems there. I don't think we can think of anything that we would have done in a different way. Um, in fact, having the turbine up, notwithstanding 3R Energy's involvement in bringing people down here, has propagated or accelerated um, us putting a, a turbine up at um, one of our other psychiatric hospitals up in air. And we're currently going through an exercise looking at putting up uh, a bigger northern power machine across South Hospital.